the National Security Program and former FBI agent said the BIE assessment was extraordinarily overbroad, but that the idea was being spread to state and local law enforcement agencies across the U.S. And with it saying that it's being spread to state and local law enforcement agencies across the U.S., that reminds me of this past Saturday at camp. We had a, a nicely dressed Edomite woman come up who had a very... Uh, reporter like personality and she was and her the question she was asking uh were questions that only somebody who's been paying attention to our videos would ask very uh, probing questions like a reporter say in case she wanted to build up a case on us later who knows if whether she had a wire or not and then she said little things like oh we asked her how do you know so much about this truth or something along those lines and she said oh it's blown up everywhere on twitter for instance, uh, and then laughing before kind of brushing it off. And then she brought up uh, subjects such as transgenderism and stuff like that. Very loaded questions, which uh, made me and uh, the brothers think that this lady could have been an agent or a uh, honeypot, which is in the world of espionage, it is a code word for a woman who is supposed to seduce a man in order to pump secrets from him, steal things from him, etc. And she was a pretty um, decent looking Edomite woman coming up with a very uh, pleasant demeanor, something that uh, if you were a weaker brother, it would kind of lower your defenses because Jake <laughs> Jake only really deals with aggressive women. So having a woman come up and have a seemingly sincere attitude would uh, lower a, a weaker brother's defenses, which is what it it's, would seem to be the case with this woman. And also while we were speaking with this woman, a uh, a drone was hovering above us for a little bit, and who knows that could have been, that drone could have been recording uh, the questions she was asking us, and then our response to her questions to see what they could uh, use against us in the foreseeable future. This is the kind of eye you brothers got to have on these highways and byways, because as we get closer to the end, you're going to see a lot more agents and odd situations like this come up. The targeting of activists through police harassment and surveillance for espionage for espousing a disfavored ideological stance is immoral to the core and morbidly insidious. The Guardian reports that while authorities have not said publicly that Balagoon has been labeled a BIE, their language in court resembled the warnings in the FBI's file. German revealed that the federal government utilized a disruption strategy, which is a tactic where the FBI attempts to target lower level arrests and charges as a means of causing a disruption in their target's lives while the agency attempts to build a case. Sometimes when you couldn't prove somebody was a terrorist, it's because they weren't a terrorist, uh, German said, adding that prosecutors' claims that Balagan was too dangerous to be released on bail was, was astonishing. It seems this effort was designed to punish him for his political activity rather than actually solve any sort of uh, security issue, he said. This is exactly what was done to Balagoon as he has lost his vehicle, job, and home. His son was also forced to move and transfer schools as Balagoon missed much of the first year of his newborn daughter's life. This man's life is in shambles due to being targeted for his political activism. When the state persecutes you for attempting to empower others, you are dangerously close to tyranny. So as your brothers can see, Esau is uh, getting ready to move on us at any moment. And that's... Uh, spiritual that it said uh, he had lost his vehicle job and home because that's a prophecy that's going to happen that's what's going to happen to us if it hasn't already happened to you brothers out there and that brings me to matthew chapter 10 i'm gonna start at verse 16 behold i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves don't get too carnal minded out there when these edomites come up to you trying to incite a violence or uh, an emotional response when they start coming talking that bullshit be wise as serpents and harmless as doves just cut them with the scriptures it's, it's as easy as it, as it has to be but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues there are agents in gms camps where we're not uh ignorant to that matter so we just got to be circumspect with uh brothers in the camps when they start uh getting real uh funny about things you just got to keep an eye on it because just like judas they're going to try to betray us when uh, esau moves against us and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the gentiles once esau starts moving against us and uh, arresting us some of us will be go will go before uh law enforcement mayors of cities governors of states members of congress and even the elites 
and as it said, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles, we're going to tell them what's what, what's going to happen, and just how it's going to be. And while this was talking about the prophets back then, as it says in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. This is written for us today because uh, through the reincarnation, we are those prophets back then that are back here today uh, preaching this word. Verse 19, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Brothers, don't be worried about these threats from these Edomites or the FBI or the CIA. It's all prophecy. It must come to pass. Just keep strong and don't worry what you're going to say. Don't worry about popping off on these uh, kings and governors or whatever, because the Most High is going to put those words in your mouth and just... Uh, Use Yahawashai as an example. Whenever they asked him a question, he was calm about it and only said, eh, that's what you say, or you say so. Just be cool as ice about it. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. This is a spiritual thing, not carnal whatsoever. And especially you're going to need to be spiritual in these last days when these uh, calamities come. That's the only thing that's going to get you through it. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. You're going to have your so-called loved ones, family, and best friends, and uh, even your brothers in camp turn against you. Nobody knows how they're going to act once the pressure really gets put on, but you just have to endure until the end, brothers, and take it with uh, gladness, as it says in verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. And whoever is of the elect and makes it through these calamities, though some of us will be martyred, whoever makes it through into the kingdom, which how willing I'm of that number, this nightmare is just going to look look like a drop in the bucket compared to our rulership once we finally uh, get back into our power position. So brothers, just keep strong and endure until the end. We're almost out of here. And uh, with this video, I hope you brothers were edified. Kwam Yasharala, Ababa Ball. Until next time, Shalom.